right, so this morning I got Furtado, and it's actually one of my favorite pots, so I'm happy to get this one. It's just like a strong coffee. And then I have a Christmas book that I'm starting this morning because I finished my other book last night, but this is Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. I'm so excited. Good morning, guys. I look like a hot mess. Oh my gosh. Um, but it's Vlogmas Day 2, and I started the day with coffee. Obviously, you guys saw that, and then I did some okay sorry i ran out of space on my memory card but yeah it's vlogmas day two gabriel is shaking a bell really loudly can you stop while i'm filming please um so yeah i haven't filmed much today because i did some cleaning and then i'm just now sitting down and it's what time is it it's almost 10 o'clock so um i wanted to get the editing done for vlogmas day one but honestly i think i'm gonna wait till tonight because we just have I don't have, like, a lot to do right now, but we have a lot to do tonight. Like, Zach is getting a new Xbox, and he, actually, my brother sold this older Xbox for him. Um, my brother actually sold this Xbox, this older Xbox for him, so, um, we have to ship that out and, like, get the wrapping and stuff. And then also, we have to, tr like, go to a whole different Walmart than the one that's in our town to pick up the new xbox that he bought because it was like sold out of all the walmarts near us so we have to go there around like six o'clock and thankfully i don't have to do dinner i don't have to do any dinner tonight because we have a lot of leftover white chicken chili from the previous last night vlogmas day one so we're doing that and then tomorrow's just an extremely busy day for us because i have a surprise that you guys are obviously gonna see um, on sometime later this week or next week, one of the two, I don't even know at this point, you'll see it, you'll see it this week, you'll see it on like Friday or Saturday on like Vlogmas Day 3, so there's that airplane, um, so yeah, sorry, there's the airplane, but yeah, that's basically what we have to do today, which doesn't sound like that much, but it's just kind of a lot because... It's just kind of a lot. So, yeah. And I also just need to finish cleaning around the house. Because, like I said, we have a surprise coming. So, just gotta have a clean house. So, that's something I need to do. I am so tired once again. And I fully had a whole coffee. So, I don't know what's going on with me. I'm just, I feel like it's about to be that time of the month for me. Because it's just like, I'm so tired all of the time. <laughs> um, I also want to work out today. And like I said, edit the video. And I also was going to make some snickerdoodles. Because I have some snickerdoodles that I got from Walmart that I really want to make. Because it gives off Christmas vibes. Baking cookies and stuff like that. So we'll see if I get to that today. We'll see if I get to that today. But nonetheless, happy long day too. Got ready for the day. And I'm about to make us some lunch. I'm about to make us some lunch and get started with cleaning. But I did want to just, just share my December... TBR like what I plan to read this month because you guys know I love reading and for anyone who cares or could be interested I thought I would do that I was trying to set you guys up but it's not working because my couch is ghetto but yeah let's get into it so I have three Christmas books that I plan on reading this month and then two that aren't necessarily Christmas but it's a series that I want to get into so I'm going to start with these um, this is Kingdom of the Wicked. I really never heard of this series before until I saw this come out and people were freaking out over it. So I was like, I think I need to read this. So this, I'm going to read the back really quickly because I'm not exactly sure what this is about. So we're going to read it. It says, two sisters, one brutal murder, a quest for vengeance that will unleash hell itself, an intoxicating romance. Amelia and her twin sister, Victoria, are... Streg, which is who live secretly among humans, avoiding notice and per, per, persecution. One night, Victoria misses dinner service at the family's renow, renowned restaurant in Sicily. Amelia soon finds the body of her beloved twin desecrated beyond belief. Devastated, Amelia sets out to find her sister's killer and to seek vengeance at any cost, even if it means using dark magic that's been long forbidden. Then Amelia meets Wrath, one of the wicked, who are princes of hell. She has been warned against entails since she was a child. Wrath claims to be on Amelia's side, tasked by 
his master with solving a series of women's murders on the island. But when it comes to the wicked, nothing is as it seems. So that actually sounds so freaking good. I cannot wait to start this one. So I got this one, it's Kingdom of the Wicked. And then there's a second one that recently came out and I did pick up the books a million edition. So it's really, really pretty inside. Let It's got like this map which is gorgeous and i just really love this edition i really wanted to get the hardcover for this one but they didn't have it and i really wanted to read it like pronto so i just bought um this one and then the hardcover edition maybe if i really end up loving these books i'll buy the hardcover edition and that one and then just sell that one but it's not going to bother me too much so this is the second one i'm not going to go over the synopsis of this one because um i don't want to spoil anything that might be in this one so yeah I got these two that I plan on reading in December and once I'm so yeah and then sorry the camera's so crooked like I said it was really hard to set up um and then like I said I have three Christmas books so this one is a newer release by Tessa Bailey it's window shopping I've heard so many good things about this one I heard it's an office romance it's steamy um, there's like the grumpy sunshine trope where one of them is like super happy and one of them is like super grumpy and it's just like a really cute Christmas romance and that's exactly what I want in a book this month so I am excited to read this one. I did start this one a little bit but I did put it on the back burner because I started reading a different book but this is Nick and Noelle's Christmas playlist. I've heard amazing things about this one. I heard it's like that perfect hallmark -y type um, Christmas romance. Basically it says Nick Winter's Christmas at home is nothing like he planned. What was supposed to be a memorable holiday with his longtime girlfriend goes sour when he learned she cheated on him while she he was overseas. At least Nick can rely on his usual shift at the family Christmas tree farm with his best friend Noel Carter and our endless supply of Christmas tunes to lift his spirit. A night of fun together is just what he needs to forget about his ex. But then they kiss and it feels so right. So that sounds super cute and I'm excited for this one. And the last one is another like hallmarky type Christmas romance. This is Mistletoe and Mr. Wright. So I've heard that this is like the book, like the Hallmark movie type book. Like if you would make a Hallmark movie out of any of these books, it would be this one. So it's basically, it says Lana, it's everything the quirky small town of New Springs, Alaska can't stand. A rich socialite with dreams of changing things for the better. But Lana's determined to prove that she belongs, even if it means trading her slaughters for snow boots and tracking down one of town's hairiest Christmas mysteries, the Santa Moose. An antlered Grinch hellbent on destroying every bit of holiday cheer and tinsel it can sink its teeth into. And so I'm guessing she ends up meeting a guy. We will see. So that is what I plan on reading this month. I wanted to share that for those who care about um what i'm reading so yeah those are the books for this month um like i said i'm about to get this living room cleaned up and also you know what else said is make lunch yes i'm also going to make us some lunch and get this living room cleaned up and yeah then i'm just gonna be i need to work out i need to do arms today but I was really feeling like a shower, so I hopped in the shower and got ready. But I'll do a workout late tonight if I have to before bed. Because um, it's just arms and I can make that happen today. So let me get my things done. I've been sitting in this spot all day to update you guys and update the vlog. Because I have been. I've literally been so lazy today. But I finished like all my house chores so early. And then I... Um, had nothing to do all day because Zex at work and he's got a hard reset his Xbox before we can drop it off to get shipped. So I am waiting on him to do that and it is now 319 and he's on his way home to do that. And then I think we're gonna actually hit up Target because I need a new toothbrush so bad. I left mine at my mom's house um Sunday and it's what's today? Tuesday and I've been using an old one so that's disgusting but so that is the plan and then we have to pick up Zach's new Xbox the one that he's getting for Christmas if you're wondering yes we give each other our gifts way too freaking early but since he's shipping this one and getting the money for it we decided to buy we decided to get the one it's a whole long story it was a whole process um but anyways so we have to do that 
and then that's it i don't know what we're doing for dinner i do have leftovers in there but i'm sure we're going to probably get something because that's just how it is when we're usually out we try not to leave the house during the week so we can cook at home but i need to get out of the house today i'm just i'm not feeling like sitting here any longer so that will be good for me so yeah it's so hot in this car currently and I have on this fluffy jacket. <sighs> anyway. We are going to UPS, right? UPS. UPS and then Walmart or Target because I need a new toothbrush. And then are we doing dinner? Or are we eating at home? We're gonna do dinner. Dinner. Let's actually vlog. Somebody make me vlog. Zach, you hear that? Sure. <laughs> oh god, turn it off. We are here at Sonic, but Zach got his Xbox. This is what we came all the way here for. Are you happy? Give me your happiness out of 10. This is not where we're working. Give me your happiness out of 10. 10. 10. This is Christmas present that he's getting early because both of us cannot Mama. wait for anything. Yes, babe? This is where we're not working. His phone is quiet. Oh, it's quiet. quiet. Let me take it off the it's phone. Quiet. Let me take it off the phone. Anyways, we're getting dinner here at Sonic. We were totally going to go to like a okay. <laughs> Can you pause it for a minute? No, it's okay. Just turn it down. Oh, that's fun. Gingerbread ornaments. Anyway, we are going to go to like a restaurant. But it's Someone's impatient. yeah, we're all super hungry. You guys will never know, but we just made a deal and we're going to buy books. My mom's gonna watch this video and be like, "This is why you have a problem." High five. Those chicken slingers look good. Oh my god, we just ordered so much food. By the way, we should do a mukbang. Yeah. <laughs> Happy. Shandata. We ordered so much food. Tell them what you actually. It was me. Yeah, all I got was I, a burger. I do this thing where when I get really hungry, I over order food and then I never eat it all and he'll eat it. Watch. Just watch. But anyways, tell them what you ordered. I got a garlic butter burger and a diet cherry lemon. I ordered, I think it's a six piece popcorn chicken. I hope I ordered the six piece. I could have ordered like the bigger and that's why it was so much. I, I, I ordered poppers. popcorn chicken and tater tots because I was craving boneless wings. So I was like, that's super close. And then on top of that, I ordered mozzarella sticks for us to share and a Coke Zero. And I should have got an ice cream. I didn't really have anything happen today. I dug outside looking for a water line. Tell us, like, um... I dug in a lady's bush for an hour. Okay, tomorrow we have a really fun surprise. I'm just gonna give them a little. No. Just a, like a really quick one. Yeah. Just like this. Just like that. That's you guys' hand. We're growing. I could cry. We're getting a surprise. A surprise, and it's so exciting. That's how he's gonna ruin it. I'm gonna ru I ruin everything. Anyways, guys, I will update you when our food comes, and you can watch Zach eat his burger. No. Yes. Oh, I want you to take your phone from him so you can Google what time Barnes and Nobles closes. Do that on your phone. Now we're at Barnes. My favorite place. Okay, so we just got home, and I would do a Target haul, but it's for the surprise tomorrow. And I don't want to ruin it. I could totally ruin it. I could totally ruin it, but I won't. Save it. So it's been the most boring vlog today. I am so sorry, but that's that's just what it's gonna be. Some of the days I have these snickerdoodles that I could totally make right now. Honestly, I might make them because they take ten minutes. So we're gonna make these snickerdoodle cookies. Even though I've had so much to eat tonight, I think it's about to be that time of the month for me because I am like ravenous right now what what'd you say he's setting up his xbox you guys want to see it it's like 
the size of a Nintendo 64, isn't it? It does batteries. Oh, it does? Good. So that's the Xbox. And that's about it. Like I said, I would do a Target haul because we went to Target and we also went to Marshalls. I got something for my sister for Christmas. And then the surprise tomorrow. So, can't show it. I know that's tough, but we're going to make some snickerdoodles. <laughs> Thank you.